Welcome to the Gathering of the Saints. My name is Henry Falcone from Flame of Fire uh, Ministries, Kingdom Awakened Messengers. We're so glad that you could be with us this morning. We, we hope that you're here to uh, spend some time with the Lord and His goodness and His glory and, and just be with the Lord and minister to His heart this morning. The Bible says to taste and see that the Lord, He is good and He is a great God. So please sign in. Let us know who you are, where you're from. Connie, God bless you. Thank you for joining this morning. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I don't know if you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook, but amen. You can watch us either place this morning. Amen. Let me move my chair up just a little bit here. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's just lift up our hands and we we'll give the Lord a gentle wave offering this morning and acknowledge Him. We appreciate you, Lord. We love you so much this morning. We love you. We love you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you. We love you, Lord. There's nobody like you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. In the beauty of your holiness this morning. Taste and see that you're good. And your mercy endures forever, Lord. Where would I be without you, Lord? Where would we be without you this morning? Welcome everyone, welcome to the gathering of the saints. Please sign in, let us know where you're from so our moderators can reach you. Where would I be without you? Where would I be without you? Where would I be without you, Lord? Where would I be without you? Who would I be without you? Who would I be? Who would I be without you? Who would I be without you? Where would I go 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 without you? Morning, Mary Mary. From Arizona, God bless you. Precious sister, the Lord, all of you are. Amen. God bless you, Connie. What would I do without you? Oh, what would I do without you? Where would I be without you? Where would I be 
without you. This is what's going through my spirit this morning. This little song. It's a little ditty. Where would I be without you? Where would I go without you? Where would I be without you? Where would I go without you? Jesus to God. Where would I be without you? Where would I be without you? Without you, where would we be without you? Where would I go without you? Where would I go without you, Lord? How could I stand without you? How can I stand without you? Where could I live without you? Where could I move without you? Where would I go without you? What would I be without you? Good morning, Sister Eva. 
where would I be without you? I'm just singing this little prophetic utterance that God put in me before I started. So that you keep singing it. And I just encourage you, just lift up your hands. Look up to heaven and give him a wave offering and say, where would I be without you, Lord? What would I be without you, Lord? Nothing. Nowhere. Where would I be without you? Nowhere, Lord. What would I be without you? Nothing. Oh, where would I go without you? Oh, 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 where would I go without you? Nowhere. What can I see without you? What can I hear without you? Nothing, Lord. What can I know, Lord, without you? Oh, oh, oh. What would I know? Without you, I would be lost. That's right. So lost. Where would I be without you? Nowhere, Lord. Where would I go without you? So grateful for you, 
Baba. You are everything. You are our everything. You are our all in all. And we love you this morning. We worship you. We glorify your name. We love you, oh God. Who where would I be, Lord, without you? No. What would I be without you? Nothing, nothing. Where would I go, Lord, without you? Where would I go? I'm 
much you love him. Lord, we love you. Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you. Lord, we want you. Lord, we want you forever. Forever. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you. Lord, we want you. Lord, we want you forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Where would I go without you? What would I be without you? I can't even imagine. I wouldn't even be here and know it. If he didn't come and save me. Did you hear the cry? Of those that were praying for us to be saved. We wouldn't be here. Where would I be without you? I shudder. Where would I go without you? Can you imagine what life would be without it? Can you imagine what a day would be like not knowing him? A moment, not knowing what he wants, not knowing his heart, not knowing his will. Can you imagine? I can't. I can't even imagine my life anymore that I lived before Jesus came in. I'm so grateful for you. Where would I go without you? Nowhere. What would I be without you? Where would I go? What would I be? How could I live? How could I move? How could I breathe? How could I talk? How could I walk? How could I move? Lord, without you, I could Lord, I love you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I want you. Even more, Lord, we love you. Lord, we need you more. Lord, we want you more.
Where would I be without you? Where would I go without you? How would I live without you? How could I move? How could I breathe? How could I see? How could I hear? How could I know? How could I see? How could I praise? How could I worship you? How could I be without you? Who would I be without you? Lost on the way to hell. What would I be without you? What would I be, Lord, without you? Nothing, nothing, Lord. Who would I be without you? Oh, 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 oh. 
しょこんだしょこんだちょこんまきげてでてこのまんこしょまにえけんだななこしょまにえけんのこんなごちょこんなきりえけしゃきりえけどなんもこんだきりえしょこんなまきりえでんどちょこんだこにやねやんどちょこ
out you in the midst of this great darkness, God, that's covered the earth. You're giving a command to arise and shine, for our light has come, and your glory would be seen, risen upon us, God. Let it be done on earth as it is in heaven, God. What would we be without you? What would we be without you? Oh, Lord, we love you. Lord, we need you from every tribe and every nation, Father. Lord, we want you more. Lord, we love you. Lord, we need you more. Lord, we want to be one forever with you. Deep and deep, deep and deep, who deep and deep, who deep and deep.
persuading that the Lord speak to your heart and minister to you or you minister him. If you get something, you can write it on the chat line. Sometimes the Lord lets me play prophetic notes that he'll give an interpretation to. Maybe you'll hear the words that I'm playing. If you do, write them out. Don't worry about if you're not getting anything or hearing anything. Just stay right here with him. Just right here. It's all just to be with him. Even the heart, Lord alone, Thou hast made the heaven, the heavens are heavens, with all the hosts, the earth, and all things therein. Thou preserveth them all, and the host of heaven worship Thee. Yes, Lord. Who is there like You, O God? Who is like You? What would I be 
without you. Where would I go without you? Where would I be without you? How could I live without you, Lord? How could I live without you? Who what would I be without you? Who what would we be without you? Every tongue in every tribe in every land, why would we be without you? Oh, oh, oh. where would we go without you? What would we be? Lord, without you, nothing, no one, where would we go without you, nowhere, no how, no way, no way, no how, nothing, no just for you we were made just for you nothing else Lord can do when we were made just for you made to be one with you made to be one with you What would we be without you? Where would we go without you? How could we live without you? How could we breathe? How could we walk? How could we talk? How could we see? How could we hear? How can we move without you? Without you, without your love, 
without your grace, without your mercy, without your love, what would we be? Just let him know how much you love him this morning. Just look up towards heaven, lift up your hands if you can, and just give him a wave offering and say, I would be nowhere without you. I would be nothing without you. I wouldn't be able to get up this morning. I wouldn't be able to breathe, live, or anything without you. I so need you. I so want you. I so love you, Lord. Just let me know. If the Lord gives you something to share with everybody, just write it on the chat room like our sister did. She put a scripture down. Maybe God's giving you a vision or a picture. Just write out whatever you get from the Lord. Strengthen one another. If God releases something to you for us. sat down on the keyboard this morning I just had that thought go through me where would I be without you and then just started singing it that little ditty but it's what the Lord wanted us to sing we will bless you Lord at all times yes and your praise shall be ever on our lips. All glory belongeth unto the Lord. Yes. <laughs> it's just on your rights. We'd be a mess without you, Lord. Yeah. The Lord is beautiful. Soon to be completed, child. We love you and we need you. Amen. Good morning to all of you that are joined. If I didn't get a chance to say hello, Brother Clifton. Sister-in-laws that have joined on. God bless you both for joining. I can't see everybody on the screen, but welcome. We're just telling you, Lord, what would we be without you? Where would we go without you? How could we breathe without you? We just couldn't. okay just to sit at his feet maybe the Lord is just filling you speaking to you I know he's here in the midst of us this morning he said whenever two or more gather together his name in the same the same presence of God glory of God that's in this room with me is the same one that's with you right where you are whatever state whatever city whatever nation you are here we are all together as one one body with one God can you imagine that over the internet Experiencing the same God, hearing the same God, knowing the same God, individually yet collectively as one body. How beautiful you are, Lord. Oh God, we love you.
blessing and glory, honor and power forever. Receive blessing and glory, honor and power forever. Blessing and glory, honor and power forever. Receive blessing and glory and honor and power, Lord, forevermore. A blessing and glory, honor and power. Blessing and glory, honor and power, Lord, forever. Blessing and glory, honor and power, forevermore. Blessing and glory. Honor and power, rebel Lord. Blessing, honor, blessing and power, blessing and glory, Lord, forever. Blessing and glory, honor and power. Blessing and glory, honor and power. Blessing and glory, honor and power forevermore. Let your kingdom come, you will be done. Let your kingdom come, you will be done. You Kingdom come, you will be done in us on earth, Lord, as in heaven. Let your kingdom come, you will be done. Not my will, we yours be done. Not our will, be your will, Lord, forever. Blessing and glory, honor and power. Blessing and glory, honor and power. Blessing all glory, all honor and power, Lord, forever. We bow before you, throne. We bow before your throne. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Blessing and glory, honor and power we just give you all the blessing and glory honor and power lord blessing and glory honor and power hallowed be your name let your kingdom come, hallowed be your name, let your will be done, hallowed be your name, let your kingdom come, hallowed be your name, let your will be done, hallowed be thy name on earth as it is in heaven. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name, hallowed be your name, 
blessed be your name, Lord, blessed be your name. Hallowed be your name, Lord, blessed be your name. Hallowed be your name, blessed be your name. Hallowed be your name, blessed be your name. We hallow your name, blessed be your name. King of glory. Let your kingdom come, let you be done, Lord. Yes, Lord, that's our prayer. We hallow your name. We just lift up your name right here. No other will, Lord. No other plan. No other agenda. Align us, oh God. Align us with your perfect will. Align us today with your perfect plans. Your perfect thoughts, your perfect strategies, your perfect wisdom, God. We don't want to go our own way. We don't want to make our own choices. What can we do without you? God knit us together as one with you, one with one another, that we would never, never, never go outside of your will. That we never go outside the boundaries of your love. Constrain us, oh God. Constrain us with your love, oh God. Constrain us, God, that we would only choose what you choose. We'd only want what you want. We'd only go where you'd want us to go. We'd only say what you want us to say. And we seem so far away from that being real, but we're not far away, Lord, because you're changing us from glory to glory so that as you are in the world, we shall be in the world. The works you do, we shall also do, Lord. For as you are one with the Father, you are making us one with you, perfectly united. How blessed and lovely is your name, O oh God, in your person. We so love you. We so adore you. No other will. No other plan. Burn it up, Lord. Burn up everything you see in us that's not of your will. Everything that's not your pure holy love in us. Everything that's not your kingdom. Burn it up in us, God. Come, spirit of burning. Come, spirit of judgment. Refine us like gold and like fire, oh God. Let the fire of your holiness come and burn up those things still in our life that are keeping us, God, from being perfectly one with you and one with another. We surrender. We give you the totality of our being, God, as a living sacrifice. And we say, come, Holy Spirit. Come, refiner's fire. Come, fuller soap. Burn up everything you see. Everything that's in us, God, that's not love. Every wound, every heartache, God, every place, every offense, every place of unforgiveness and bitterness, God. every place in our heart where we're holding anything against anyone god burn up everything that's not your kingdom god come fire of god come baptize us with fresh fire refining fire full of soap so that we can be completed ones god that you change us from water to wine god Yes, casting all our cares upon him because you care for us. One with you, Lord. No other plan, no other agenda, no other will, no other purpose but being yours. And yours and yours alone. That's why you made us. That's why you're forming us into a kingdom of kings and priests unto our God that we may rule and reign with you. You're forming us into a bride without spot, without blemish, without wrinkle. You're causing us to learn how to buy, buy the extra oil for our lamp so we can go out and meet you, Lord. Where would I be without you? Where would I go without you? 
How can I move without you? Hearts are burning for you this morning. Heart on fire in love with you this morning, God. In every place where our heart has grown cold, every place we may have deserted you as our first love, we surrender to you. We want no other love, no other God, no other place, no one to be first in our life but you. Not husband, not wife, not children, not grandchildren, not job, not money, nothing, not influence, not power. You must be first, oh God. What would I be without you? Where would I be without you? Where would I go without you? What would I be without you? children are your children we are your children John says I don't know what we are I know that now we are still children of God but what we're going to become we do not know but now we do know we're being made into full-grown sons of God and daughters of God. A wheel within a wheel. A people within a people. A church within a church. A remnant. Out of the 5,000 that got fed, 500 were up in the upper room. Out of the 500, only 120 stayed. Out of the 120, there was 12. Out of the twelve, he took three up to the mountain, transfigured. And out of the three, there was one that he brought up into the revelation of heaven to write the last book of the Bible. He leads us in the way that we should go. And he makes ways where there are no ways. Blessed be his name. Amen, sister. Eva. He makes a way in the desert and streams. Way in the wilderness and streams in the desert, right? There's such a divine alignment happening right now this morning. We're being aligned by the Lord. 
things that are out of alignment are coming in alignment and there's such a burning present God's glory and there are things that he's burning out of us this morning there are things that you have begged God to remove from your life you said God how will this ever leave and the Lord says I'm removing it today by the spirit and blast of burning and the spirit of blast of judgment is God from is beautifying us as the deer pants for the water so my soul longeth after you what would i be without you what would i be without you where would i go without you where would i go without you nowhere what could i see without you nothing what could i hear without you how could i breathe without you how could i move without you how could i talk without you how could i see here you know without you lord we love you lord we need you lord we want you more and more lord we love you Lord, we need you. Lord, we want you more forever. That's right, Sister Eva. More of you, more of you. I've had it all. What I need is just more of you. Amen. What would I be? without you where would i be without you i know i'd be burning in hell right now where would i go without you nowhere where would we be what would we be where would we go without you oh yes he's beautifying us one by one with his divine alignments here we are lord change us it's exactly what he's doing yes lord make us one knit us your body together all in agreement with the mind of Christ that's exactly what he's doing supernaturally he's knitting us together as we stand in his presence his glory as we worship him with the worship that ministers to his heart he's knitting us lining us causing his love to burn in us like never before love for him and love for one another a love that this world doesn't know the world can't make it's not human love this is the burning pure holy love of God that we're standing in this morning and it's burning in us and as we clung to him as we declared our need for him our desire for him that burning love is consuming us and it's burning up everything everything that's out of alignment everything that's out of alignment with his pure holy love is being burnt up and removed from our lives to be one with him I 
looking at both screens, make sure I see everybody's comments. Where would I be without you? I know where I'd be this morning, Mark. What would I be without you? I know what I would be without you, Lord. Not only lost, if not in hell on my way there, Lord. I can't even imagine life without you. How you so drastically changed our lives. How you fundamentally changed us, Lord. By a miracle, I said a prayer. I didn't even know what I was saying. And the next minute there you were so real inside of me. And now you said, be confident of this one thing that you who began that good work, you will be faithful to complete that work. And God, I'm holding on to that with every fiber of my being. You know I am. But the only way that I know I'll ever be finished is by your hands that started this work by a miracle power is the only hands that's going to be able to finish me my brothers and sisters, my family. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by your spirit, God. Where would I be without you? Where would I go? How could I live? How could I breathe? How could I walk or talk? How can I move and have my being without you? I can't. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Lord. I love you, Lord. I so appreciate you, Lord. Your mercy endures forever, oh God. I woke up to that song, Lord. It's we used to sing back in the day I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever I will sing of the mercy of the Lord forever I will sing for with my mouth I will make known thy faithfulness with my mouth I will make known thy faithfulness to all generations so I will sing of the mercy of the Lord forever. You love the Lord this morning. Are you in love with the Lord this morning? Can't you feel him knitting us together with him? As we sang that song, can you feel your heart burning together with him as one? that the deep in us was crying out for the deep within him. Deep to deep. For even those billows, those water spouts go over us this morning. Blessed be his name. Where would I be without you? What would I be without you? Without you? I love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Let's just give him that love. Let's just love him right here. 
you need to hit those hearts, hit the hearts. Say, Lord, I love you. Let's just give them the love. We love you so much, Lord. Because you first loved us, God. Just let him know how much you love him right here. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the King. Lord, you see all that love going up to you, Lord. You see all the love going up to you, Father. You see all the love, Lord, that belongs to you. For your glory, Lord. For your honor, for your praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. We so appreciate you, Lord. We so appreciate you, Lord. Increase the prophetic, Father. Increase the spirit of prophecy, Jesus. From the seven spirits of God, release it, Lord. New dreams, new visions, new understanding, new revelations, Lord your kingdom and of your ways teach us your ways oh God that we may know you having all things in common that's right it's true Lord You take two and you make it one. A bride with a bridegroom. Two sticks, you make one. And this is a mystery of Christ and his church. That a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one. Eva writes, be strong and of good courage. God cannot be defeated. We are on the winning team. It may be different, but we do not walk by sight. We walk by the Spirit. So don't look at your circumstances. They will pass away. And will I see you standing in victory because you kept your eyes on Jesus? And you kept your eyes on Jesus. And as you keep your eyes on Jesus and begin to praise, God will raise up and cause your enemies to be defeated. And your attitude will be changed as you're in test and trials you will know all things happen and work together for the good to them that are called according to his purposes so you will not fret and be fretful for you oh no you will know the victory is the Lord's and the battle of the Lord's and you are the praise God you are to praise God in all things I chuckled because that word fret is what God often says to me fret not Henry um, so I'll even, I take that very personally. <laughs> Fret not. The only frets I'm going to play is on a guitar if I ever learn. <laughs> no more fretting. We're learning how not to whine, but how to worship. Amen. Not to be whiners, but to be worshipers. Who else has something from the Lord? Thank you for sharing. I'm so glad you feel comfortable to share because it so blesses us when we can with you when each one if you have something from the Lord, it may be a vision or scripture or just a hallelujah, just as each one of you participate. Don't don't be afraid that uh, what somebody might think. Just write your heart. God gives you. We're family. Bless
Blessed be the Lord's name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. Amen. So good, so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Amen. I just give you a wave offering this morning, Lord. I'm a wreck. <laughs> I am. I'm a wreck this morning. I am undone by the Lord. Taste and see that the Lord is good. God, you're amazing. I hope you're experiencing that glory where you are this morning. I think we all are. Can't you feel that? Tremendous glory presence of the Lord this morning. It's beautiful. We just love you, Lord. We just worship you right here. Lord, continue to hover over us and fill us, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. How beautiful this is this morning with the Lord. We're gazing upon this beauty, amen. Good morning, Pastor Yvonne. I think I saw you sign in. I didn't see everybody that, that's on there. Amen. Amen. I was blessed to have my two sister-in-laws on this morning, too. I don't know if they're still on, but it's so good to see you both and that you're on with us this morning. Amen. Yes, Sister Patricia, there's strength and unity in him. And we're truly becoming united. It's a divine operation of the Spirit of God. I think I wrote in one of my posts that those of you that have been joining us during the weekdays and on Sunday through Thursday and on the Blowing the Shofar and also in this gathering, the love that God is putting in our hearts for you, and I think you for us and us for one another, has been incredible. It's like I've known you all my life. It's amazing. And it's because your heart is so in love with the Lord. You're so passionate for the Lord and we're being knitted together. For whatever purposes the Lord has, we're coming together. And God is bringing those with a hungry heart and thirsting for the Lord. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, right? They shall be filled. And I can feel this divine knitting together. Amen. And I believe that this is wonderful that we're doing it on the internet and God is meeting us. I wrote in one of the posts, I said, you know, there's a lot of ministers that are saying, you know, that you, you, you can't really meet the Lord together and fellowship and grow on internet ministry. And I really totally disagree with that because of the hour that we're in, we're growing together, you know, and I thank God for local churches and local church bodies. And if you're in one, you're blessed, but some people just don't have one. And they just can't go anywhere. So there's a gathering of the saints together here. But we're going to start gathering together in the spirit. It's just not going to be in the way of the past. I really felt God tell me that 2021 was going to be the years of divine, the year of divine convergence when we're going to come together supernaturally by the spirit in different geographical locations. Call them instant hot spots. And what we did this morning in establishing the tabernacle of David is what we're going to do together there. And then what the Lord is doing in our midst here speaking, it's going to even increase as we're in person even more. Where God is going to bring instructions and clarity and directions. And man, it's life-changing, isn't it? Wasn't this life-changing this morning? The deep in us really crying out for the deep in God. And I could feel the deep in God crying out for the deep in us. Then I could feel him changing us and those eyes of fire burning to remove everything in us that was keeping us from that place of true oneness and unity with him and one another. And it's not by might nor by power, by the spirit. We can't word it out. We can't pray it out. We can't declare and decree it out. It comes out by glory. It comes out by being filled with glory. 
says when we look on that face as in a glass, we're constantly beholding his face. We who are are constantly being transfigured from one degree of glory to another when we behold him. That's what the Sundays are about, to behold the Lord in Mondays through Thursday too, just in a different way. Amen. But God is still finishing us and completing us. And I am working, hopefully, to get a convergence to have one in the end of March, early April. God willing, if that's his time frame. You know? And I really believe there's going to be people that are going to hear, we need to gather together. And they'll say, listen, I just feel like we're supposed to gather in Canada or Texas or Iowa or wherever. And then the Spirit of God is going to begin to touch people. Yep, we need to go there. And you're going to see such an intervention of God bringing his body parts together. And he is going to form us into a kingdom of kings and priests unto our God. He's going to form us you know, into a, a royal priesthood and a holy nation by his hands. It's not going to be by the work of man's hands or trying to make something or make another organization. It's going to come by the Lord himself forming us. He has formed us into kingdom of kings and priests unto our God. Revelation 5.10 says he's formed us. And that's what we're being formed today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's beautifying us this morning from a simple song. I, you know, I, I woke up this morning and I had that song. I will sing of the mercy of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. So I was singing in the shower. I will sing mercy of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercy of the Lord. Then he said some things to me that were kind of staggering and helped me to open up my eyes to see his love and beauty in ways that I needed to see him. And so I came in and I set up the keyboard and, you know, I said, Lord, I am so undone. I am so undone this morning. I'm a wreck. I'm a mess, Lord, that you're gracefully putting back together. Amen. We can meet on Zoom. That's a good idea. We will do that, sister. Amen. Praise God. We can have a gathering of the saints on Zoom and then talk about the things of the Lord. That's another way of doing it, too, when we can't meet together. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm doing it on Facebook and on YouTube so that God can reach others that can hear and maybe partake of what the Lord's doing. But those that are remaining, getting together on Zoom would be a great idea if you want to. So if you do want to get together on Zoom to fellowship and pray or worship, please uh, let us know. You can write to admin at flameoffire2007.org or you can um, write, you can just message me and say, I'd love to get on a Zoom meeting. Amen. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I want to share a something God has put in my heart, um, kind of describing this morning. And um, as I woke up, I said I had that song going through me, and he was just overwhelming me in his love and mercy. And, you know, I'm asking God for a deep work in my heart, a deep work in my life to refine me and remove everything. As I was singing it today, remove everything, Lord, that's not of your kingdom. Remove every thought, every pattern, every paradigm that's not in alignment with his heart and his will. And, and, Man, I'm learning so much patience. I want it out yesterday, don't you? Wow. Lynn was overwhelmed this morning. Reverend Lynn was, as God spoke to me, divine alignment. Led me to Job 37 through 40, and I was undone. He is God and gone alone. Yeah, amen. I was undone. I am undone. I'm wrecked. <laughs> Anybody else wrecked besides me? And maybe Lynn this morning. I'm wrecked in his presence. I'm wrecked in his glory. But that's what glory does. It wrecks you. The true glory of the Lord, it makes you undone. And you realize, like I say, I'm a man of unclean lips in the midst of un you know, people of unclean lips. That's what glory does. It gives you the reflection of how you are in relationship to the holiness of the Lord, but not to run away and retreat like the children of Israel did when he came from the mountain, but to run to him. You do the exact opposite. You run to him. And that's why that song... And about five minutes before I turned my 
keyboard, I kept, I kept hearing in my spirit, where would I be without you? And I turned on it and I kept hearing, where would I go without you? And so I, I put my hands on the keyboard and obviously for the next hour and a half, that's all I could sing. I, I can't, if I wanted to play another song today, I couldn't, I cannot touch that keyboard and play any of the song. I may try to record it later. I don't know if the Lord wants it recorded or not, because sometimes like last week, he had me record the song that he gave me last week about the uh, um, rise up. But some of them I can't record because they're for a moment. So I'm not, I don't try to put God in a box. Thank you, Lord. There's something about gathering together in letting that desperate cry, the deep with us cry out to the deep with the Lord. When we get, when we cast all our cares upon him, when we're not coming to seek his hand, but we come to seek his face. And when you throw away the agenda of the time frame and you worship until you get released, you know, Ruth Heflin said, I think it was either Ruth or Gloria Heflin, one of them said, you, you enter his gates with thanksgiving, you are, enter his courts with praise, right? And then you, you worship, you praise him until worship comes, you worship him until glory comes. And when the glory comes, you stop and you do nothing and you just stand in his glory. And that's where we are this morning. We're standing or sitting wherever you are in the, in the glory realm of the Lord. It's, I mean, that parousia that I've been sharing is all around. I can feel the presence of the glory of God all around me and in me. And, and God knew what we needed today. And he knew he, he wanted to show us what he needed. He needed that pure worship, that desperate, that song I know ravished his heart because it was a cry of each and every one of them that, Lord, we know we are apart from you. We can do nothing. How many know what I'm talking about? Amen. Patricia said, I too was wrecked at the deposit of in at this deposit of faith. And Lynn writes, it allows us to lay down all our questions, doubt and fears and totally surrender and trust him. He is trustworthy. The one and only to wear the sash faithful and true. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, feel free to keep commenting and, you know, as we're here in the, we're in the weighty presence of the Lord. I have a beautiful pastor friend now. He's a pastor. It's, he wasn't a pastor. Um, I think he was a youth leader when I met him in Mushkis, Mexico, many years ago. His name is Isai E. Falcone. <laughs> Same as my last name, but without the E. And I met his dad, Michael which is my father's name, he even looked like my dad when we went on a mission trip to minister to his church. And the glory of God was so strong in our worship time. We were practicing and interceding. And the Lord had me stay there and wait. And the son of the pastor, Isai, came. And the Lord, everyone went to eat. And they said, the Lord said, wait for him. Wait till he comes. So I sat on that keyboard for 45 more minutes while everybody was eating, just worshiping the Lord. Because like now, there was a hovering and lingering presence of the Lord. And all of a sudden, Isai came. I said, Isai, do you feel this? He said, wow. He said, what a presence of the Lord. I said, the Lord had me wait here for you. And that's all I said. And the next thing I knew, no one touched me. It was slain in the spirit, boom, on the floor. And for the next hour and a half, he just sat there and he drank and he cried and he was covered in the oil of the Lord. And when he got up, he looked at me and he said, this is such a heavy presence of the Lord. And God met him in a very special way. And when his father passed away this year, do you know who's pastoring the church now? He's got a brother too, but the senior pastor is this. I, I, I ministered to with his brother too. Beautiful, both of them. But the Lord had him have an encounter that prepared him for this hour. Now he's carrying on the vision, the work of the Lord. It's amazing. But those that linger, those that know how to linger, those that stay long enough, those that find out what the Lord wants, desires, his handmaidens and his men servants have an accessibility to the Lord. They have an accessibility to his glory. They have an accessibility 
to be to to meet him and meet the desires of his heart and as they meet the desires of his heart he meets the desires of theirs in ways beyond anything they could ever do and many times those that are called to linger are the alone ones not always but many times are alone ones and i wrote an article about it yesterday because Again, out of the church age understanding, there seems to be a persecution against those that have been set apart for the Lord. You know, there are people who are not in church because they are rebellious, because they're stubborn. There are lone ranger ministries that, if you want to, I don't like that term, but that, you know, that don't want to be under anyone. And I don't want to even use that word correctly. That Let's put it this way. They don't want to be accountable to the Lord or anyone else. I get it. But there are those that are alone with the Lord that are accountable to God and they are accountable to others in ways differently than what we think. And you can't throw out the baby with the bath water. Wow. Eva writes, it's beginning to rain. Hear the voice of the father. Just as God is preparing us all now as we allow him to move as he wills. And Sonia writes, teach us to desire to linger. Yes. That's really the secret <clears throat> of entering his glory realm. You've got to be like Joshua. Joshua was prepared for ministry because he's, he lingered in the presence of the Lord that remained after Moses met the Lord in the tent of meeting. And God chose Joshua to lead the people because he was a lingering one. I have to say I've been blessed to learn. I've learned how to linger. Not because I'm smart, because out of desperation, what we went through in our early days of ministry and life, I had no choice but to learn how to linger and develop that intimacy with the Lord. And I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning that the Lord wants to have dinner with me, like I shared the other day, lunch with me. It was amazing. But... Why is the Lord's lingering here with us this morning? Because while we're speaking, while we're sitting, while he's giving me things to share, we're being transformed in that presence. We're in this glory. We're being right now. Things are breaking off of us. God is working deep and secretly within your heart and life and things that you never thought would leave. He's removing and things that you never thought you could ever be free of. He's freeing you from. And he's positioning you and he's enabling you and he's empowering you right here, right here. There's such a deep impartation of his glory realm right here this morning that's changing us. And learning that, cultivate, cultivating that. Like now, you know, I'm so being very sensitive of what to say, what to move. I didn't even know if I was supposed to take my hands off the keyboard. I was very careful. I said, Lord, I felt it was okay that he would stay. Because if he needed the music to minister to him, if I took my hands off, whoop, we would have lost the presence of his glory. We have to learn a sensitivity to his sensitivity. And when we look at our lives outside of that light of him, it looks like we're a million miles away and we'll never get there. And when you stumble and when you fall and you make mistakes... And it just breaks your heart that you did what you did or thought what you thought because you know you don't want to do that. But like Paul says, I do the things that I don't want to do. And the things that I don't want to do are the things that I do. And he says, who's going to save me, oh, wretched, pitiable man that I am? But then he answers it, oh, thank God he will. And how will he do it? He answers it in Romans 8. That the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free, excuse me, from the law of sin and death. It has. There's a victory that glory brings, a victory life, a victorious life that is glory. And that glory comes with this enabling, this parousia, this surrounding of the Lord. Lynn writes, my earthly father used to say, God rest his soul. Lynn, you don't have to argue with those who don't believe you. You know the truth and that's all that matters. What God says and what and has is doing is all that matters. Amen. That's a wise counsel Lynn. but as we linger here we're being beautified as we linger here as you have a desire to be married to the lord how many could feel that this morning how many had felt that burning desire to be so one with him and and we became one we did and we are and we still are one with him just in even deeper than when, when we were than we started we're in that day of oneness 
glorious oneness and oneness is glory. I still want it done yesterday. Then I remember the Lord gave me a word, be patient with him. He said, be patient with a, my spiritual father said, be patient with the Lord, be patient with the Lord in establishing you. And I chuckled because I was so young in ministry that I said, Lord, why would I have to be patient with you? I, I said, I need you to be patient with me. Now I know why <laughs> I have to be patient with the Lord because I want to be done. But I can't change myself. I can't fix myself. All I can do is come. All I can do is come and be with him. Be changed like we are today from glory to glory. Isn't that wonderful? It's radiant. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I left it over there. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord. We love you. We so appreciate you, Lord. Isaiah chapter 4 is such a beautiful little chapter of the Bible. And if you read it in the Amplified, it explains what the Lord's doing. There's a cry of the seven virgins. There were seven virgins, a daughters of Zion, and they were crying out to the Lord. Lord, please come and marry us. We'll take care of ourselves. We'll provide our own food, which is Revelation chapter 19, where the bride has made herself ready. See, she had something she needed to do, but please take away our reproach. And then it says, and in that day, the Lord's going to remove that reproach and he's going to beautify the daughters of Zion. And then it says, in that day, he's going to bring forth the beauty of the branch of the Lord, verse three. And that's what he's doing with that branch of the Lord. And then he says, and this is how he's going to beautify us. And, and I believe it's the, verse three. And the Lord is going to remove the haughtiness, the pride, and the vanities of these daughters of Zion, his bride, with the spirit and blast and burning and the spirit of blast of judgment. This refining fire full of soap from this lingering presence is going to beautify us, finish us, complete us. And then he's going to pitch himself as a tent, as a canopy over us and keep us safe in the secret place of the Most High God. That's what we're experiencing this morning. So if you get a chance, you want some homework for Monday, I ask you to read Isaiah chapter four, verse one through four, but please read it slowly. Just do one line at a time and sit in your devotional time, sit with that those scriptures and just wait and let the Lord expound it to you about how he's doing this finishing work and why what we're doing and lingering in that manifested presence today in that glory realm is so important. And God is working. Sister Sonia, whoops. I gotta go back here. Let me see here. Yeah. How good she, Lynn, Reverend Lynn wrote it out for me. That's what happened. Okay, let me go up here for a minute. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Amen. Lynn wrote, like David in the cave, all he had to do is come and be one with him. Eva wrote, beat to his heartbeat. Sonia wrote, be patient with the Lord, establishing you. Lovely counsel from the heart of God. Amen. It's true. That's what the Lord said to me, Sonia, be patient with the Lord, because <laughs> I was very impatient. When, Lord, when, right? Amen. Lynn wrote out Isaiah chapter 4 for me there. It's real beautiful. You know. It's looking at, it will come to pass in verse three. Well, let's go up there. Let's just read it. And this is where we'll, maybe you can continue to write your comments. It says, in that day, seven women will take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own food and what and wear and provide our own clothes. But let us be called by your name. Take away our shame of being unmarried. That was the deep crying out today. Take away the shame of being unmarried. 
And now does that make sense? Why would I sing that song? What could I do without you? Where could I be without you? See, that was a song saying, take away our shame, Lord, of being without you. That was a song of our heart. And I heard it sung over all the nations. I saw, I saw all the nations singing that song. Where would I be without you? Where would I go without you? And what that really is praying, take away this, this, this reproach of being unmarried, but just being engaged. Lord, we're praying for our fullness, and that's to be one with the Lord and married with the Lord. And it says, in that day, the branch of the Lord. I could speak on that one sentence for probably three hours because it goes along with Zechariah chapter three and four. But I won't. We'll come to pass that. It says, in that day, what day? This day, the day of the Lord, the day of his parousia, the branch of the Lord will be splendid and glorious. What's Jesus coming for? A church, a glorious bride without spot, without blemish, and without wrinkle. You see, this is, this. if you read this slowly, you will see God's end time work. You'll see his third, Jesus' third day finishing work right here. It says it'll be excellent. It says, and the branch of the Lord will be splendid and glorious and the fruit of the land will be excellent and lovely to those of Israel who have survived. Notice what it says. It says the land will be excellent and the fruit will be excellent and lovely. And you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you that I ordained you that you would what? Bear forth fruit and that your fruit would remain. That's the excellent fruit. And what we're doing as we're coming and and establishing David's tabernacle and just bringing our true love and worship and ministry of the Lord, the Lord is beautifying us. The Lord is changing us. The Lord is causing us to become beautiful as a branch of the Lord. Why? Because we got to bear fruit, right? We got to bear fruit. It's got to be excellent and lovely to those that are in Israel who have survived. It will come to pass, verse 3, that he who's left in Zion. Zion always represents the government of God. Zion represents a people within a people. Zion represents the, the, the Shulamite bride from the daughters of Jerusalem. It always speaks of the remnant. When we hear the word Zion, it's the remnant of God. It's the sons of Zadok versus the sons of Levi. It says, and those who are left in Zion and remain in Jerusalem will be called holy. Will be called holy. And what's he forming us into? A royal priesthood in what? A holy nation. He's not building another thing. He's building a people. He's forming a kingdom. That's why it's very hard for me right now to get connected with a lot of things that are being built right now because of maybe how we're building it. A flesh and spirit instead of just the spirit. So God will take care of it. And those that have a heart for the Lord, God will remove it. Like he's removing it. I, who am I to speak? I got so much guys working in me, you know. And look what he says he's going to do. And those who remain in Jerusalem will be called holy, set apart for God, and everyone is recorded for eternal life in Jerusalem. And when the Lord washed away the moral filth, that's the mixture of the church age, from the daughters of Zion, that's the bride, and has cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem, that's the mixture of flesh and spirit, from the midst of her, by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. That's how he's going to do it. Refiner's fire, full of soap. In the glory realm, that's what operates. That Lord whom you seek suddenly comes to his temple. It says, and who can stand when he appears and who can endure the day of his coming? For when he comes, he comes like a refiner's fire, full of, full of soap, to thoroughly purge what? The sons, the priesthood. Why? So that they might bring offerings of righteousness. In other words, they will give God what he wants. That's what we were doing this morning with that song and that love that you poured on the Lord is what he wanted. See, I had no idea what we were to bring to the Lord. I had no idea what the song was going to be. I had no idea what to play. I never do because I'm looking for what he wants and bring to him what he wants. And that's why I heard, where would I be without you? What would I be without you? Lord, I love you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I want you more. That's what comes out of finding his desires and then ministering to him. And then it says, then the Lord will create over the entire state of Zion. I have to move it up. That's why I'm reading it. 
the site of Zion and over assemblies. And this is what we experienced this morning. A cloud by day and smoke. And then the brightness of a flaming fire by night. Cloud by day, fire by night. I will teach you and instruct you in the ways that you should go. And I'm going to guide you with my own eyes. That's what glory does. That's what glory is doing this morning. Transforming us, changing us. Beloved, there are things that are not part of your life anymore that you thought you could never get rid of. God has done such a work with us this morning. Mindsets have changed. Strongholds have been broken. That's right. Strangleholds have been broken. Imaginations have been destroyed that are not of God. Thoughts that, that, that were barred in your mind have been broken because we came up and into the glory realm and the glory surrounding us. And when that happens, the enemy is displaced and God is replacing that, that which was in us and around us, replacing it with glory. That's what we're receiving this morning. And that's what it says here. Look what it says. And that cloud by day and fire by night for over the for over all the glory and brilliance for over all the glory. That's the, the seven daughters of Zion over them will be a canopy of defense. The glory and the brilliance of God will be a canopy and a defense, a covering of divine love and protection. That's what I woke up to this morning. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. That canopy of love and protection. I heard the Lord, Henry, is my love bigger than these things? Is my love bigger? Do you believe me, Henry, that my love is bigger than this? And all I could do is say, yes, Lord, I do. Do you believe my love never fails? Yes, Lord. Do you believe love covers a multitude of sin? Yes, Lord, I do. Yes, Lord. Why? Because he's pitching a canopy over us a defense, a covering of divine love and protection. And there will be a provision for shade from the heat of the day and a refuge and a shelter from the storm and the rain. Praise God. That's Isaiah 4, 1 through 6. Amen. She cuts and pastes, Cheryl. <laughs> That's how she does it. Amen. She's wise. She's got a, she's got a uh, Bible she can cut and paste from. So, because otherwise it would take for years to do that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Eva writes, the Lord bless you and keep his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. And Lynn writes, a defense, a covering of the yes, a word, isn't it, Lynn? Amen. Amen. Copy and, copy and paste is my friend too. Because, ay, ay, ay. So we're living Isaiah 4, chapter 1, excuse me, chapter 4, verses 1 through 6 this morning. In the tabernacle of David, we're meeting the, the heart of the Lord. And I encourage you in your alone time, put the music on and just wait. Be still before the Lord and wait for the Lord to lead you what to say. You don't do this already, what to pray. And I sometimes just try to be still and wait. And many times I type my prayers. I start, I pray and I type them. I don't know why I do that, except maybe I need them to remember them by. And so I do a lot of typing, praying. And then I'll get so saturated with the Lord and then I can't write anymore, but that's fine. Because then he's speaking and, and establishing and revealing and he wants to make himself so known to us, so real to us, that he is our bridegroom and we are his bride. Thank you, Lord. It is a baptism of pure holy love. That's what the glory is, Sister Eva, exactly. This is the greatest outpouring of holy love we have ever seen, ever known on planet Earth. And so powerful is this pure holy love, it's going to transform the kingdoms of this earth into the kingdoms of our God. So powerful this holy love, we're going to be able to release words of judgments and words of consequences against all those that are evildoers. And the Lord is going to remove every trace of evil and wickedness off of this planet, the devil, the demons, and all that aside with them for a thousand years. Coming. Right now, we just have to be prepared, positioned and trained to operate from that glory realm. 
And if you're interested to learn about that glory realm, then I encourage you Monday through Thursday on the Perusia broadcast. It's at 10 a.m. Central Time. But if you can't watch it live, I encourage you to watch it afterwards. Those of you who watched it, they are so, we are getting hidden manna from God. All of us, we're getting hidden manna from the Lord. We're being fed by the Lord. We're being changed by the Lord. God is so unre so revealing his glory roadmap to us, preparing us, positioning us for what's coming. I hope you don't miss it. Not because it's me. It has nothing to do with it. I'm not, if it was about building a ministry, if it was about building a church, I would advertise. I would, I would do everything. I'm not touching that. I don't advertise. I'm not trying to promote it. I send it to people. You know, I put it on Facebook and YouTube only so that they can find it to hear the present word of the Lord, but not from a promoting ministry. Those days are over with me a long time ago. I have no desire to build a ministry or a church or anything like that, nor am I trying to get anybody to, 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 be part of flame of fire. That's not my job. My job is to bring people to the Lord. If God wants people to connect with us, he will connect us together. We will labor together in the love of the Lord. And I don't even like, if I didn't have to have a name of the ministry, I wouldn't. If I didn't have to have all this legal paperwork, I wouldn't. Why? Because it's not necessary. We're a family becoming an army. And it's when we give, when we pray, when we serve, it's out of heart of love for family and becoming the army of the Lord, not because of work of a ministry. I really, ew. yuck. I know we do the work of the ministry. I get it. It's just what, what we made it. What that we, what we made that word to mean instead of what God desired it to mean. But I just encourage you just to join the broadcast and not watch it at night. I, I, I try to put it on open heaven and Facebook and then I make a final copy of a completed one on YouTube. The completed copy is on the YouTube channel. So if you go to our YouTube channel, I think Lynn put it on there. It's Flame of Fire um, at um, Kingdom Awakening Messengers. And then all these, uh, there's uh, several broadcasts on their series. Um, the New Wine and the New Wine Skin is a tremendously powerful message. Then we have the uh, crossover 20, 2020, 2021, and then we got the the sounding of the shofars and, of course, the Perusia broadcast. Amen. They are there for your disposal to use. And if you want to have a Bible study with them or go back to them, what I do is I pray over them. And if the Lord calls me back to, to go to, to, to one of them to listen to, I do. Amen. What a work the Lord is doing, revealing his glory in us and to us. And back in March, it really birthed within me. And I started, first time I stepped out to do a broadcast, I wasn't going to do them. I don't like them. I don't like video. I don't like being like this. Um, as you can see, I, I try to be alone with the Lord a lot. Not that I don't like people. It's just that it's very personal. And to take what's personal and put it on screen is not easy. And I have to be very sensitive of that because there's some things that are just between me and the Lord. And there's things I can share you know, with others. It's those things that he has me do these broadcasts. But since March of last year, we had a series starting with the daily briefings all the way up until March, of, almost March of this year, a year's worth of preparation and training and about what the Lord's doing. And most of those are on our Facebook page and under the video section. You can go all the way back to the beginning. And if you are hungry and thirsting for the Lord and understanding his realm of glory and what he's doing presently, Go back to those things. They're not the only place, but that's what we have to offer anyways. And pray over them because there might be one of them that the Lord has a message for you for today. They were prophetic and apostolic and they apply for this moment. So maybe in those times where you're, you know, where you really want to meet the Lord, turn one of those on and then God may catch you up and you never hear another word. And God just wants to meet you there. The same thing with our, our, our music. The music is just to catch you up in the Lord. That's on our Psalmist Henry Falcon YouTube channel. Amen. Thank you, Lord. What an awesome morning. I thank you for all coming this morning. Anybody have anything else they want to share? You guys have blessed me. Ladies, my wife will shoot me if I call. Ladies, men, all of you. And I'm not sure if there was any more men. I saw one. I think Curtis was on there for a while. I don't know if anybody else is on. Some people don't sign in. So I never know who's on. But God bless you for joining. Amen. We so appreciate you.
And thank you for joining this broadcast this morning. And we love you and we appreciate you. And if there's anything we can do to serve you, please send me a Facebook message, an email, text message, and whatever we can do to pray for you. We are here for you. We are family. And um, we love each and every one of you. It's an honor to know you, to pray for you, to serve with you in the Lord, to learn together in the Lord. It's an honor. And my personal thanks, as always, to all of you that are praying for Donna and I, Lynn, and for our, our ministry workers together, our laborers of our ministry, laborers of love. I call it a labor of love. I don't call it a ministry. It's not our labor of love. That's what I call it. And thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your encouragement. And for those of you that have been sowing financially, thank you so much. We so appreciate it. So, so, so much. God is so good. And I can never repay you for your kindness. Don and I, we can't repay you for your love, your prayers, and the finances were showing us. But all I can do is pray that God would take those seeds, bless them, break them, and multiply them and leave you a 12-fold basket increase spiritually, physically, financially, in your family, and your work, in every area of your life. That God's divine favor would overwhelm you. Amen. And that my God would supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Well, that's it for this morning. God bless you. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Uh, today's my daughter's, my, my, my oldest daughter's birthday. Amen. She was born in a blizzard in Connecticut. I'll never forget it. 17 inches of snow. And I wasn't expecting Donna to go into labor, so I didn't put gas in my car. It was empty. So when it was 3 o'clock in the morning, I couldn't take my big heavy car. I had to drive her little Pinto, and that was not very good. I was not prepared. But we made it. It took us like an hour, I think, to get all the way to the hospital. But we got her in there in time. And then our beautiful first baby daughter was born. And I made a little joke about it, too. I said, I had never held babies in my life. Never. I was the youngest. I didn't hold them. So when Donna gave it to me, I was so reluctant to hold it because I was afraid it was going to break her. I really thought I could hurt her. And so I held her for a couple of minutes. I said, here, <laughs> take her back. And uh, poor Amy was our, our little guinea, guinea pig daughter that I had to learn how to change diapers and do all that stuff. But I told her, that, I told her today, you made a way for your siblings. <laughs> so I still didn't get over that breaking thing when they're first born, but lesser as each child came. But have a wonderful day, everyone. We love you. Be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Thank you for joining today. This is Henry Falcone from Flame of Fire, Kingdom Awakening Messages. We love you. Have a great day. Amen. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters. We love all of you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.